Hey everybody, happy holidays. This is John Spaulding from G1NBC Cuyahoga County. Uh, we at G1NBC wanted to do a holiday countdown. One of our um, other affiliate directors, Mr. Tony Dixon in Washtenaw County, Ann Arbor, Michigan, had a great idea of coming up and showing some videos that are in the public domain and doing count and then our uh, founder uh, had an idea of doing a Christmas countdown. So we just put a quick couple episodes together and we're going to count down some public domain videos from now until uh, Christmas Day and so I'll be hosting them I look forward to having some engaging uh, sessions and having some people involved in G1NBC and and other content providers that we work with uh, come on here and and be a part of these programs so this is our first one it's kind of our test one we are live now on the G1NBC um, website we will be sending that link out um, as well as a recording to be placed on YouTube. And what we're doing is we're creating um, 24 programs uh, where we are going through the Unitarian Universalist Advent Calendar and showing you that um, show for the day that we have selected. And we'll be putting out a list so you can see all of the upcoming broadcasts and see if there are ones that you want to come to. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, so thanks for joining us tonight. And, and if you're on YouTube, go ahead and click subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll get notifications when we go live or when another countdown video has been released. And you can share that with your network. And if you um, don't want to get any more notifications after the holiday season, then just Go over to the G1NBC Ohio YouTube page and and click off that bell and and you won't get them. So uh, so thanks for joining us. Thanks for tuning in. Like I said, we're blending the Advent calendar and uh, uh, a movie or an animated short a day. Uh, so we're excited to start. So uh, December first, over the river and through the woods. Now this Advent calendar. Let me tell you a little bit about it. This was created by um, Ralph Roberts and the Unitarian Universalist Association. And as you can see here, he worked on, they worked on the calendar for three years. And the hope is that Unitarian Universalists of all ages uh, would make it a part of their holiday season for years to come. I chose it because it, as you can see in the beginning, we are calling this a holiday countdown. Um, so we're not being specific as to a particular religion that we are speaking to during these times. Um, every religion has some type of celebration in this month. And the UU calendar does a great job at highlighting um, a lot of the world's religions. So the a lot of the programs and, and shows that we do are, are, are definitely Christmas related. Um, but then blending in the advent calendar, I, I want to make sure that these are, are th that this is a countdown that reflects my values um, as a broadcaster, my values as a person, and, and kind of where we're going with... Um, the network. So Over the River and Through the Woods, it's a song uh, that is based on a poem by a, the Unitarian author and human rights champion Lydia Marie Child. And her inspiration for this poem came from her childhood memories of Thanksgiving and her grandparents' house. And as Unitarians and others started to revive and reimagine um, Christmas, the distinctively Yankee tradition of Thanksgiving became the template that they followed establishing how Christmas uh, would be celebrated. So you always hear a lot of people say, oh, Christmas is just Thanksgiving with presents and lights. Well, they're kind of correct. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out the song. I thought it was interesting that the original poem said, uh, to grandfather's house we go. So you'll notice a difference. Over the river and through the wood to grandmother's house we go. The horse knows a way to carry the sleigh through the white and drifted snow. Over the river and through the wood, oh how the wind does blow. It strings the toes and bites the nose as over the ground we go. Over the river and through the wood, caught fast by dapple gray. Bring over the ground like a hunting hound, for this is Thanksgiving Day. Over the river and through the wood, now grandmother's camp I spy. Hurrah for the fun is the pudding done, hurrah for the pumpkin pie. Hurrah for the fun is the pudding done. 
Hurrah for the pumpkin pie. Awesome. So that was from um, Easy Tales YouTube, and they did a Creative Commons attribution. All of the content that we're presenting during the countdown is Creative Commons attribution, meaning that you are free to share it and splice it up and dice it as long as you attribute it. And all of the people that we've included have attributed, have allowed us to um, use their work with um, an attribution under the Creative Commons license that, that other people can share it. And all the videos are in the public domain. Um, so they can be viewed, they can be viewed on YouTube whenever. Um, so we're just presenting them here as well. Um, as far as the lesson from the Over and River and Through the Woods for today, if you have grandparents still, make a note during this season to visit them um, or someone older than you and hear their story, uh, hear where they're coming from, and, and pay attention to those relationships because uh, you never know when you won't have them anymore. Um, so make sure that you do that. Let's get into our film. Uh, so this film today that we're going to see is called The Christmas Visitor. It was done in 1959 by Hallis and Bachelor Cartoon Films. You can see it was directed by John Hallis, produced by John Hallis and Joy Bachelor, um, animated by Harold Whitaker and Tony Guy, and um, originally released in June of 1959 uh, from the United Kingdom. So thank you for Big Cartoon Database for providing that information. I put a link to them here in the slide and it'll also be on our YouTube description. So let's go ahead and watch that video. <laughs> was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced through their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out in the woods there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. And what to my wondering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old quick, I knew in a moment he must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses they came, and he whistled and then called them by name. No Dasher, no Dancer, no Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Dom and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, whoa, they're all. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. A bundle of toys flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack.
Having finished his task, he spoke not a word, but shouldered his sack and rose like a bird to the top of the chimney and across to his sleigh. Then he stopped and he listened. It was now Christmas Day. He grasped both the reins to his team, gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night! All right, everyone, that was the Christmas visitor and so thank you for tuning in tonight we will be uploading a recording of this to YouTube and I appreciate you tuning in we'll be doing these uh, every day up until the Christmas holiday and then the Christmas holiday we're gonna do a special thing we'll we'll swap out our normal uh, YouTube playlist and replay our countdown playlist so you will if you try be able to see it every video that we are making uh, in December. So thank you for joining us. Thanks again for our promotional uh, sponsor, SNG Endeavors, helping organizations take action. They are leaders in creating collaborative change and helping individuals, groups, and organizations through meeting facilitation, trainings, and other um, strategic planning processes to help organizations take action and thrive in the 21st century. So thanks for joining us here at the GNNBC Holiday Countdown, and I will see you tomorrow for the Candlemaker. Have a great evening.